Your impressions of how you thought your workout went today? Uh, workout was tough. Um, you know, I thought I played well. I thought I did well. Um, I didn't shoot at my best. Um, you know, I shoot usually a lot better than that. But you know what happens? You know, basketball is an imperfect game. So, you know, I just keep my head up. Uh, you can do other things. So I just try to attack in the basket, play defense, and competing. So I think overall it went it went pretty well. Hey. With your ankle? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I just I just jumped funny. It came down, uh, but you gotta fight through it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want to stop playing, so uh, it's fine now. You know, I sit and I'll be normal tomorrow. You know, it's part of basketball, so I'm all good. People are pretty impressed with your right to left crossover out there. Anything else you were looking to show or showcase while you were on the court? I mean, nothing. I just I just wanted to play my game. You know, um, I, I have a really good handle. I get by people um, and and finish at the rim, and uh, you know that's what I wanted to do. Um, you know, like I said, I could also shoot. You know, today I wasn't really falling that much. Uh, but like I said, you could do other things. And that's why I tried attacking the rim and, and creating and playing defense. And I thought I did that. So I had a good workout and it was fun. Have you talked to general managers and coaches about where you land on the court? One, two, combo? Yeah, you know, I told them I, I think I could just be both. You know, it really depends on where I play. If I play somewhere like here, I, I really do think I could be both. Um, uh, and depending if they have Calderon or Nash or all the rumors that are out there, whoever is there, um, you know, I, I can play the one, um, I can play the two. Um, you know, I can get the rebound and push it myself and look up to other players. Or if someone has a rebound, I can run the floor. Um, so it's just like I, I think I can play both, and I think that's the strength. So, yeah. Have you kept abreast with the Raptors, how they've done? What do you think of the team and the situation well, actually, they're in? I mean, uh, to be completely honest, I have uh, kept up with them. Just looking at teams that uh, would fit me, and the uh, Raptors were one of the places, and that's why I'm here. Um, you know, I really wanted to. Uh, I think I fit in this program well. I like the way they play. Um, I like uh, the new coach. Um, you know, I like how he gets it out there on defense too. How he pressures the play. You know, uh, they're going to pressure their players next year. And um, you know, uh, as far as offensively, they like, they like to get up and down and go at them, and that's something I like to do. And uh, you know, I like all the pieces they have here and all the athletic wings and the good point guard they have. Um, I think I can fit in really well. Could you limit your? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Has your father said anything about Toronto and the Raptors? And yeah, this is one of the places he likes a lot. Um, you know, there's only a few of them that we chose, and um, you know, my dad's even more of a critic. Uh, so, <laughs> and he likes this place, and he loves the coach, um, and so do I. So, you know, hopefully, everything goes well. Did you limit? So you, I mean, all of your your visits are limited to places you think you'll have a fit. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. Um, you know, and a little bit of both. You know, sometimes if a team really wants to work out, you know. It depends on who, really. It's just my agent um, and, and myself and my family. Uh, we got limited it to only about four workouts, five workouts. And um, this is like one of the top choices. Um, I mean, I love Toronto. I love the city. I think it's a beautiful place. Um, and I think there's a good fan base here. I mean, if you look at when, the, you know, when Toronto plays well and stuff like that, the fans are always there. Um, I think this is a great place to play. And I think they have a lot of pieces there. And I think they're up and coming. So this is why I'm here. What have you been told about this pros process, especially, I mean, your father is who you is, who he is, and you've been, you know, a fairly hyped prospect for a yeah. while. It seems like your your career has sort of been building to this moment, and you seem more prepared for it. So yeah, it is. Has um, anything surprised you about? I mean, no. I mean, I, I just I just expect, um, you know, what it, what has been so far. Uh, I, I, my dad's just always tried to tell me just to be real and just be 100% real, um, just to go out there and be myself and try not to do something I'm not, you know, not to be someone I'm not. Um, so. I just try to go out there and compete, and uh, at the end of the game, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, this is basketball, and this is something I've been doing my whole life, um, so I see this stuff as fun. You know, people think of this whole process as, you know, stressful and stuff like that, but I mean, I'm, I'm playing basketball against all these other top players. I think it's pretty fun, so I'm having a good time so far. Where else are you going to visit? Um, I'm going to Washington um, tomorrow, um, uh, Portland, Cleveland, and that's it. Is this your first stop? or Second. This is my second stop. Where were you before? Uh, New Orleans. Okay. Who did you talk to after the breakup? Did you have um, agent involved? Or? Yeah, my agent. Uh, he'll call me like eight times until I pick up. <laughs> 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 I talked to him a little bit and uh, my dad as well. I have to answer his phone call. Um, <laughs> so I, I talk to them and uh, just tell them how it goes. Um, and you know, that's it really. When it comes to each of these cities, what, what is it that you want to come into? Is there anything you want to ask? Uh, I mean, I, I don't really ask too many questions. I let them, you know, ask the yeah. questions. I, I just try to be as honest as possible. Um, I just tell them the truth on everything, and you know, that way, if it, they really, you know, like me, they know it's the real me and uh, it's a real fit. So, um, you know, I, I think I had a great interview with Toronto. Um, you know, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day, um, but you know, uh, whatever it is, I'm just going to be real and just be 100 percent with them, and uh, just know that, you know, I'll let them know that I love this place. You know, that's one thing I will tell them is I really do like Toronto. I have a lot of friends that live up here, um, so uh, I think this is a cool place to play, and uh, this is somewhere I want to be at. You said something to me before that started your circle. 
you know, it's my first time here. It's my first time here, so it's actually it's pretty cool to come up here yesterday and you know see the people here. It's such a diverse you know city. I think that's pretty cool. And um, you know, I had a good time here just walking around yesterday.